in New Canaan getting ready for the big event tomorrow, which has already kind of kicked off, Marty. I would say so, Rob. We certainly, certainly kicked it off. Yeah, absolutely. Some folks doing some sidewalk sales up and down Elm Street now, and we have another guest with us here. He is Phil Williams. He is from New Canaan Music at 135 Elm Street right here in New Canaan. And Phil, thank you for a few minutes of your time. Yeah, thank you for having me. It's our pleasure. Tell us about New Canaan Music. New Canaan Music actually opened two years ago on the sidewalk sale day, so this is our second anniversary oh, that's of being right. open. Yeah. Congratulations. So we're really excited. I think two years is a big a big mark. I'm hoping for uh, for our store, and we're going to be celebrating it with all sorts of things going on at the sidewalk sale. We're going to have a, a wheel spinning for uh, try your luck to see which uh, prize you'll end up with, discounts, lessons, you name it. Wheel We've of music. I like <laughs> wheel it. Of music, the yep. wheel of music. <laughs> So, uh, Phil, you know, uh, you guys did, you opened two years ago, uh, but you all, you know, you do some really cool stuff at the store, uh, not the least of which is your little, the concert you have in Down the Alley. That's right. Yeah. Last year we started off with uh, sessions in the alley. We had G.E. Smith who joined us yeah, and played a big really name cool. that we had. We also did a indoor session in the alley in January when it was too cold to be in the alley. We had Bakiti Kumalo who's Paul Simon's bass player. He was in town rehearsing for a tour of Asia that Paul was doing, and he sat in with us for that. So we're working on some things for later in the summer into the fall to be announced. The, the music store, the brick-and-mortar music store, has kind of evolved over the years. Obviously, the Internet has played a bit of a role, but what is the state of it these days, and what do you do to kind of stand out? Well, the brick-and-mortar aspect of a music store is really the personal touch. We've got a great staff. Jim, my manager, really goes above and beyond. We really go the extra yard for our customers, and they know if they're buying something from us, we'll back it up and stand behind it. And we've also got a lot of lessons going on. We do lessons and band and orchestra instrument rentals. It's right in town. People can come right in and see us, be there with us. It's no waiting for something to come in the mail, no Amazon sort of thing like that. So. It's just being a part of the community, and that's really what we are. I'm a music dad, so I, you know, my son <laughs> plays the alto saxophone. So uh, uh, let's talk a little bit about what's popular. When someone wanders in their store, like, I want to play, I want to you know, learn an instrument. What? Uh, a good starter instrument that we've done very well with, amazingly so, is the ukulele. It has four really? It, yes. It's that's a, cool. <laughs> that is cool. It's uh, four strings, so it's a little more approachable. It's easy on the ears just a kind of a soft soothing sound yeah as opposed to when somebody picks up say a clarinet for the first time <laughs> it's a little different that can be a little rough on the ears for sure yeah um so uh and that that's a that serves a couple of purposes right one it's a launching pad for uh w actually learning how to read music right mm -hmm. um and then uh the next step would be uh six string yep right so, and the, uh, the typical, uh, everybody wants to be a guitar hero, and I'm sure you get a lot of people come Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you get people who come in, and they've played the video game forever, and now mm -hmm. they want to just, they, they think it's simple, and it's not. Yep, they learn the, <laughs> the intricacies of the instrument. And yeah. That's really what our instructors do. They teach the instrument. They teach reading. They really, it's more than just kind of hearing something and say, I want to sound like that. They right. understand really what the mechanics are that go into it. And it actually, you know, through the process of reading, it helps your logic functions. It's actually good for the brain. It's right. been proven. And, and how, how did you, uh, excuse me, Rob, how did okay. you get uh, into this? And w where did you start musically? Uh, I've been playing guitar since high school, college, had a band, still do. Uh, always been working on guitars, instruments, building building them, and it just, I had been working in television production for 20 years and decided it was time to hang up my Metro North right. <laughs> monthly <laughs> commutation and uh, do something that I could really pour my heart into and really, really enjoy and do. Marty kind of started the same question that I was going to ask, which uh, was, I know you play in a band currently, mm -hmm. and yep. tell us, spend a moment on that. Yeah, w we call ourselves the Scavengers. We play around in the area. We've got uh, an acoustic show we're doing this Wednesday at South End, Wednesday, July 22nd at South End, Scavengers Light, so it's going to be myself. Duke McGinnis, my guitar player, playing with me, and Jim O'Neill will be playing bass. We hopefully will have a couple of surprise guest players come up and join us, perhaps some percussion. Either Nani Assis and or Johnny Bass will be there with us. Nice. Cool. So, yeah, we, we, we get out there and play, so come on out and see us. 
be we'll glad to do so. Yeah, absolutely. So, so okay. Phil? Phil? Yes. Thank you so much. Well, thank you again yeah. for having me. It's yeah. been a pleasure. It's been yeah. great. Yep. New Canaan Music, 135 Elm Street, New Canaan website. Uh, www.newcananmusic.com. There you go. Great. Go out and see them. Take a lesson. And music's so great. Phil, thank you so much. All right. Well, so thank you again much. for having great. me. It's been All a pleasure. Right. Thank Just you, Phil. about thank you. to the end of this hour, we're going to step out. And I believe Kate and John are coming back after this. So we'll say goodbye on this extended edition of Coffee Break for now from New Canaan. But Kate Chaplinski, John Kovach, back in a bit for all of us here, including my co host, Marty Hersom. I'm Rob Adams. Enjoy your Friday, but we continue on from New Canaan right after this on HANradio.com. <laughs>